patented digital container super distribution process begins by searching for and discovering content on search websites like people do every day. In this case, my search has returned a link to a song by a rock band I used to like. When I click on this link, or on an ad that can be found on any commercial website, a download is automatically triggered that delivers the container directly from a digital container's content distribution server. After downloading the container and clicking on the container icon, the container displays its cover. As you can see, the cover presents information about the container contents as well as click-through ads just like any web page. When I click on the cover, the container's patented conditional access system is initiated. In this case, a form is displayed that collects information about my online shopping interests. This page can also conduct a financial transaction through any payment system designated by the publisher. A flash movie pre-roll can also play here in place of or in conjunction with the display of the data gathering page. The flash movie can be an ad clip or promotional material for the protected content. Once the user entered data is submitted and the container is approved for opening, a patented onboard secure media player is deployed that plays the protected media file. As the secure media player is deployed, any promotional material also included in the container is displayed. This material can consist of background information about the band, like liner notes, or even a link page to download more containers. Another unique container feature is the ability to add an onboard shopping cart. The shopping cart can be used to securely sell CDs and DVDs, hats, t-shirts, or any items that the publisher wishes to market. Since I've enjoyed this Joy Drop container so much, I'd like to send it to my friends. This is where the viral power of super distribution really kicks in. I can attach the container to an email message, put a link to the download on my Facebook page, send it through my instant messenger service, share it through a peer-to-peer -peer program, or even burn it onto a CD to give to friends. With super distribution, content finds its way to customers who are more likely to be already interested and therefore more likely to make a purchase. And since containerization encourages user copying and distribution, the infrastructure costs of distributing these files is borne by the customers and not by the original distributor. In fact, a recent study by Verizon showed that these savings were over 80% for the peer-to-peer -peer piece alone. Each time a digital container detects that it has arrived on a new device, it displays a prompt for user input. This data, along with unique ID data from the container, is securely sent to a container authorization server for evaluation. When a permission token is returned that authorizes the container to open, the container and its contents are locked to the user's device. In this manner, containers travel around the world as they are passed from user to user. At each stop, they gather information about the new customer, including its shopping preferences, IP address, and geographic location. This valuable information is collected at a central point and made available to the publisher of the container. The publisher can even be alerted by email each time a container is opened or when important milestones, such as revenue targets, are reached. The Digital Containers Super Distribution System is protected by a portfolio of issued patents. Press the button to find out how you can use this system to distribute your content to new customers around the world in the most secure, economical, and creative system available.